Today, we're going to talk about the battery that all of Australia is talking about. The SIG Energy. The SIG Energy. SIG Energy. SIG Energy. SIG Energy. SIG Energy. The SIG Energy battery. I'm going to go off grid and I'm going to let you know why I picked that battery, what it's doing for me, and where it's let me down. Presented by Your Energy Answers. So, the whole journey started when I build a 35 kilowatt solar system on top of my big roof. That's about four times what the average Australian has on their roof. I had a zero dollar bill. My electricity was getting me 15 cents in the feed-in tariff and I was making plenty, plenty, plenty. So suddenly the whole game changes. Feed-in tariffs are coming down. It went down to 10, it went down to five. Now it's sitting at three cents. And now my 70 cents access fee has changed to $1.30. My 30 cents kilowatt hour fee has changed to 40 cents. So I'm going, that's it. Something's got to change. I'm going to go off grid. I'm going to rip that damn contract up. And therefore, I'm not depending on the energy retailers. They can play their games. And I'm an island to myself with my 35 kilowatt solar system. But first, I thought, let's ask a true solar expert what he thinks about my plan. I'm thinking of installing a SIG Energy, but I actually want to try to go off grid in the city. What do you think? The big problem is, unless you can size it so that for the very worst combination of loads and generation throughout the whole year, which could be in the middle of winter here in Melbourne, that you still have enough. Because if you don't, the lights are going to go out. But despite Glenn's hesitations, I still went ahead. So the first step, of course, was I got 35 kilowatts, but is it really working properly? So I called the solar services guys. Guess what? We had a few issues. A quarter of my system had never delivered power because one of the MC4 plugs had melted. No idea why and I never got that power. Thanks to solar services guys for pick that up. So first advice if you're going solar and battery is get a solar system health check. And then after that, the next thing is, what is the best battery for me? And here I'm playing with a product to consider for my own house who is relatively new. I mean, I always give the advice, go with an established company, somebody that has a lot of people in Australia for after sales service, and Seek is relatively new in the market. They've only started in 2022. And guess what? One of the key guys, Tony, who started Sig Energy, was actually a key player at Huawei. And Huawei, I believe, was actually quite a good product, except it got all caught up in the politics. Now, I don't want to even go down that track. So I'm really impressed. And within, what, those two, three years, the turnover is a hundred, couple of hundred million already. We also researched with our partner network and we found out that really somebody had already gone to that Seek factory and checked it out, went there and he was blown away. It's always nice to put a face to a product. So in order to really not just read about it on the internet and make some inquiries with the installers, I decided to invite Will Hall from Seek Energy to come to my place to give my personal information all about the product and the company. I want to keep my existing system. So side and store, look, you can AC or DC couple it. So there's no problems connecting it to your existing system. Then you don't need to bother with recabling it and everything. So it's built for harsh weather conditions. The gateway will allow you to do full home backup. And also it's got a generator input. So if you want to go fully off grid, you can connect a generator to it. Yeah. What size battery do I need? We're looking at a 32 kilowatt hour system, which would be four times eight kilowatt hour battery modules. So they're all modular. I think that should be enough to cover your load. So that'll give you 16 kilowatts of continuous output. Each module's got its own DC to DC converter, which means it's very quick and easy to add more batteries in the future. You can do up to six batteries per inverter. So 48 kilowatt hours. But okay. if you want to add the DC charger, then you can get a maximum of five batteries, which is 40 kilowatt hours, which I think should be enough. But if I get the DC, charger, can I then also use that to get vehicle power back into my house as a backup? Yeah, so we've obviously... you got a car there to show <laughs> yeah. me, is it? So this is the Ford F-150 Lightning from the guys at Oz EV. Fully electric. The industry's first approved vehicle to grid capable EV that integrates with our bi-directional DC EV charger. And I made sure I wrote down his number plate because if something goes wrong, I'm going to find out where Will lives. 
Now, because we have a dealer network right across Australia, you can find them here on YEA, more and more of those guys who really focus on quality have also gone into Seek. So we follow it further and we find websites and Facebook pages where people go, yeah, yeah, we want Seek, but what's the cheapest? What's the cheapest? Don't be a fool. The guy who installs Seek or any other battery for the cheapest price is not planning to be there when you need his support in three, four, five, eight years time. And any product down the track will need support. And for that reason, we picked Smart Energy Answers because he was doing Seek. Did you hear about my great idea? I'm going to actually later on go off grid. So one day I'm going to sit here and I'm going to turn the whole bloody thing off and I'm going to say bye bye energy retailers and I'm going to live in my own little bubble. What do you think? I think that's the dumbest uh, idea you could have ahead, Marcus. With the battery and the VPP these days, customers can really make money out of their uh, system. We're basically shifting the paradigm here from the traditional model of customers having to pay for the electricity from energy retailers to now being paid to export energy from their battery to the grid. Okay. I can show you a text from a customer. He has a 40 kilowatt hour storage and he made $550 in one day through the battery and VPP. I'm gonna sit down and do the maths down the track, but I believe the biggest motivator for people to get a battery down the track, it'll be people saying, I don't trust the grid as much when the coal fire goes off and I'm gonna back myself with a battery. I respect the fact that you wanna install a system for yourself, be fully self-sufficient and come off the grid eventually, you can do so. So now I've been running one month's worth of off-grid. And the first learning is 32 kilowatt hours was not big enough. So we had to get two additional modules added to the battery. And that's of course much more expensive because you don't get the rebate when you double dip. When you want it the first time, you get the full rebate. But the second time, if you ask for more module, it's coming out of your pocket. So that's learning. So now I'm sitting with 48 kilowatt hours. And the question is, can you go off grid in the city? And my answer is yes, no, and maybe. So let me explain. So let's say this is my little battery. And in the morning, I'm sitting there with about 50% of the battery capacity. If my consumption in the house is less than what the solar generates, which is most of the time, slowly during the day, I'm filling the battery and usually by lunchtime or even before that, the battery's full. And then comes 4.30, we're slowly starting to spill the battery all the way through the night. And in the morning at eight, nine o'clock, when the solar kicks back in, we're sitting at around 50% of the battery capacity. So when this works, I can be off grid all day, all night, perfect. The only thing is, what about rainy days? I started in the morning at 16% capacity and by 12 o'clock the battery was full till we get to about the five o'clock mark when the house consumption is more than what the battery uses. Now we've got to go to the next day and you see I've got 27 kilowatt hours of solar but 41 kilowatt hours of consumption. So I'm now emptying my battery and if I would do this for three, four, five days in a row, I'll be completely stuffed. And let's have a look back at, the, at my beautiful little battery. <laughs> you see, I never get full. And my battery has gone completely to the minimum that I allowed to set, which is sitting around the 10% mark. So the answer is really rainy days, use less, or you're going to be stuffed. And what normally happens in an off-grid system is you'll have some reserve, such as a generator backup. In suburbia, having a generator in your back uh, garden is not going to be very popular and also it's maintenance and expense of fuel. Now, do you think I'm going to survive off-grid? Am I taking a risk to go with the SIG Energy as a relatively new product? Please, in the comments below, tell me, have you had experience with SIG Energy? Are you happy? Are you not? Looks good to me. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.